What's new in Warframe this week? Well, for the Archon Hunt, if things would actually do what they're supposed to do, it is Archon Amur for a Crimson Archon Shard, meaning Bird 3 is selling an Amber Archon Shard, so Spy Mission, then Interception, then Showdown to take on Amur to get a hold of that Crimson Archon Shard. For normal Daviri Circuit, your choice of frame parts this week would be Garuda, Baruch, or Hildren. For Steel Path to V-Re Circuit, your Encarn and Genesis devices this week will be back to week one. Bratton, Lato, Scanner, Paris, or Kunai Encarn and Genesis devices. If you have all of these, you can of course go for a Rifle Riven Mod, Pistol Riven Mod, Melee Riven Mod, or 20,000 Kuva. Right, we have Elite Acts this week, complete five different Steel Path missions, kill 1,500 enemies. Normal Acts complete three sabotage missions, and gain a total of 5,000 standing across all Syndicate factions. So it's not 5,000 to one, it can be 2,500 to one, 2,500 to the other, or spread it across all of them. It's up to you how you do that. And obviously the normal 30 Xmas, 15 missions, 500 enemies that, to be fair, you'll get on your way to the 1,500 enemies. Cred offerings. Again, it's called default for a reason. There is the, ah, oh, I do love the Solstice skins. They do look really nice. Cycron's Solstice skin blueprint is here. There is the Lens Solstice skin blueprint. To be fair, still prefer the tattoo one. It does look so much nicer. There is obviously alternate helmets for lots of different frames. The wolf scroll for your care drive is here. There is the wolf of Saturn 6 dark glyph, which means it has nightfall in the background. Corvex's alternate helmet is here, which does look pretty nice. There is also Aura Wise, Physique, 20% maximum health based on your base health, not your modded health. Sniper Scavenger, Sprint Boost, plus 15% Sprint Aura. Rejuvenation, plus 3 health regen a second. And Holster Amp, Weapon Damage, increased by 60% for 3 seconds on equipping of a weapon, so when you swap weapons. Augment Wise, Bursting Mass for the Mutilus Quanta. There is Combat Reload for the Tigress, which if five pellets are headshot, it increases the reload speed by 120% for three seconds. Not too bad in the slightest. Rubico's minus 50% zoom, Volt's electronic shield, Supra's 100% accuracy while aiming, and the Tetra's 80% extra projectile speed. There is the blueprint for the Heat Sword, that would be the actual melee weapon itself. I would say one of the better ones, but the Glaive Blueprint is here to build the actual Glaive melee weapon. Prime may be better, but there's nothing wrong with the standard one. The Wolf Beacon, to get the Wolf of Saturn 6 to come after you in a mission, you can have many, you can only use one per mission. Only way to get the parts for the Wolf Sledge outside of trading is obviously to get him to come after you in a mission, so worth picking that up if you don't have that yet, because only way to get him to come after you, get the parts for the Wolf Sledge. The Sindo Manticore skin, blueprint, again, missing the word blueprint here, because it's a blueprint. Weirdly, it's there, though. Tonko Desert Camo skin blueprint, there is Grawl's Pobla Floof, Grawl's Kubron Floof, already mentioned that one, the Plink's Shock Camo Skin Blueprint, the Falcor Shock Camo Skin Blueprint, and the Saturn 6 Emblem. Emblems, of course, is what goes on your shoulders. For Teshin Steel Path on a store this week, it is going to be the Zor Riven Mod. Do not waste your Steel Essence, that is not worth 75 of them. For Necroloids Deep Archimedia missions, of course, remembering you have to do every mission after the other one with no opportunity to switch loadouts in between. It's an extermination mission where fishers rip into the mission causing the enemy level to go up by one every 10 seconds. Destroying them stops the level from increasing further, doesn't make it go backwards. And enemies deal 15% less damage and take 15% more damage, but gain 15% movement speed, attack speed and fire rate. 
then you have to go on to the mirror defense where the security system requires twice as many glyphs to activate and enemies only take damage if the player is within 15 meters of them then on to disruption mission which enemies can target and destroy the conduits hey and slain enemies burst with void energy quite an interesting week not the worst of weeks though i have seen much much worse and lastly but not least Warframe 1999's demo will be launching this Wednesday, October the 16th, and completing it will allow you to get the Protocol Longsword skin. That would be the sword that Arthur uses, that he spins around. Yeah, that I was hoping they would do it a different way, but I think this is the first time they've actually had a demo for an actual upcoming update. And I'm looking forward to trying this on Wednesday quite a bit. But for now, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.